Hello, it's April from April's Home, and today I'm here with my big spring pantry stock up. The first store that I went to is Costco. So first I'll share with you everything that I got here at Costco, and then I'll share everything that I got at Walmart. I went to two stores for my big spring pantry stock up and got a bunch of wonderful items for my pantry and freezer, as well as some fresh produce for the beginning of this month. So let's go ahead and start with produce. I got a big box of the sweet uh, and crispy opal apples. They smelled really delicious. They smell like beautiful fresh apples. I've been loving the Care Care oranges this season, so I got a big bag of those. We've also been going through sweet potatoes quite a bit lately, so I got a bag of those and a big bag of onions. And also a nice uh, big container here of the organic mushrooms. I picked up some raspberries, a two pack of carrots. We go through those quite a bit. And then a big package here of romaine hearts. We'll go ahead and serve a bunch of yummy meals on those. I love using romaine hearts as sort of like a, a, a boat for little lettuce wraps or um, Korean beef or uh, different meals like that. So I got a nice big bag of those. We picked up some celery sticks and some organic broccoli and then a two pack of the creamy Italian chopped salad kit. And then I got a bunch of proteins here, lots of meat and things to restock the freezer and a fridge. So I got some cage-free eggs here. This is mostly, of course, for Easter. I have chickens that lay plenty of eggs for our daily use, but I wanted to get some white eggs to, uh, to dye for Easter. And then I thought I would try this out. This was really interesting. A cauliflower sandwich thin. It says it's a 14 count pack, so that's really nice. I'm very excited to try that out. It only has two grams of carbs, so that'll be really nice. I also picked up some cream cheese and then some butter. Got a big bag of their chicken tenderloins, some of their fully cooked bacon. A big bag of their organic uh, rice cauliflower. I've been going through the rice cauliflower quite a bit. I was also able to restock from uh, Walmart. So I'm all set up with a bunch of rice cauliflower. Hopefully it'll last for at least a couple of months. Um, but I do go through that quite a bit lately. I picked up four of these little uh, pork sirloin tip roasts here. My husband loves these tamales, so he picked up some pork tamales. And we got another four pack of the Italian sausages, more of these delicious Alaska um, salmon burgers. We've really been loving those. And a ham for Easter. And then also in the fresh foods, I picked up some of the uh, heavy whipping cream. And then I got a few things for the pantry, a box of honey made graham crackers. I actually split this box. I went uh, grocery shopping with my daughter and um, I gave her two of these boxes from this box because we aren't going to use four boxes. Uh, so that was nice to be able to do that, to just split some of these larger packs. We also picked up some Ritz and Life cereal and some Pocky. Then we got some canned meats as well. I picked up another case of canned tuna, a case here or a little stack here of the pulled pork. That looked pretty good. I love the Kirkland brand little uh, boneless, skinless cans of pink salmon. And then also we got a six pack of the chicken breast and a box of chicken stock. And I also got a big container of mayonnaise for all the salads that I'll be making for Easter. And then this was something I was really excited to see. They had a 24 pack of the Dole pineapple juice. I love pineapple juice. So I was really excited to see it in the 24 pack. It was a pretty good value for that many cans of pineapple juice. I also got a case of green beans. We were uh, needing some of those. And then we got a case of pear halves, a pack here, a case of the applesauce pouches, more of the canola, um, pan sprays. Here's some more of the canned meat. This is new for me. Um, I've never seen this at my Costco before. It's Oxen Palm brand corned beef. Usually I get corned beef in the standard sort of squarish uh, cans, but these are little round cans of corned beef. And I was nearly out of chili, so I picked up a case of the Nally Original Chili, then a box of the Sun Made Organic Raisins that we love, and then I also thought that I would try out this shelf-stable cauliflower rice because I love having things in the pantry shelf-stable, but I'll be curious to see how shelf-stable cauliflower rice is. It might not be very good, but I will be very curious to try it, and if I like it, um, I'll definitely be buying more of that. 
And I nearly forgot to mention this. This was the treat that I picked out at Costco. This is delicious Celtic sea salt caramel made in Montana. Um, I had this years ago, so I was really excited to see that our Costco was carrying this. So that's what we picked up, some Celtic sea salt caramel. I think this will be a really nice treat to set out during Easter. So those are all of the items that we picked up at Costco. Lots of proteins here, lots of canned meats, um, some crackers and things, and lots of fresh meat and eggs and produce. So now I'm going to go ahead and get this all put away and then I'll share with you what we picked up at Walmart. And here is my Walmart haul. I went to Walmart after Costco to finish my spring pantry stock up. So let's go ahead and start down here. Yet again, you uh, know I always stock up on the frozen veggies. We go through them quite a bit. So we got more. We got three more bags of our pepper and onion blend. I just love those. Actually, no, we got four of those bags. Two bags of mixed veggies, two bags of the California style mixed veggies, two of the broccoli florets. We got six bags of the cauliflower rice. So that makes 10 in total. The four that I got in the four pack from Costco and six more. We definitely go through 10 in almost a month so that'll only be about a month's worth but I do have a few in back stock so that's good nice rounded out the supply of rice cauliflower I got three bags of the great value brand sweet potato fries and a pack of burgers here I I really wanted to get the uh, grass-fed beef burgers from Costco and I may get those next time I go. I just wanted a slightly smaller pack to fit in my freezer a little bit better. Um, we got some chicken nuggets for the grandkids and three pounds of ground turkey. We go through that quite a bit. I got two of the turkey kielbasas for different meals coming up. Then I got three big family packs of bacon. These are mostly going to be for salad recipes for Easter. I think I'll use at least two of the three for Easter, um, and then I'll have another pack left for the rest of the month. I picked up some of our favorite rainbow sherbet flavored little ice creams here. These are delicious, the blue ribbon rainbow sherbet. Um, my grandkids love these. I love these. It's such a nice little treat there. Perfect size. I got another one of our white pizza cauliflower, cauliflower pizzas. We love these. Um, so I picked up one more of those for the freezer. Then for dairy, we got a big bag of the Fiesta Blend cheese. Uh, quite a bit of string cheese. We got a big bag of the Twist Colored Mozzarella. Um, we got some Yakult yogurt. We got a pack of sliced medium cheddar cheese and a big bag of regular string cheese. We got some cottage cheese and a couple of uh, whipped cream cheese spreads. This is the roasted red pepper and this is smoked salmon. Hoping to have these on the uh, celery that I bought from Costco for snacks. And then for the pantry items, we got a bag here, a little 10 pack bag of Pirate's Booty. I think this is going to be for Easter treats. And then I got some Paw Patrol uh, snacks. The grandkids really love these, and these last quite a while. They don't eat them every time, so this 12 pack will last us quite a while. We got six tubs of Cool Whip. These are for Jello pies, uh, spring Jello pies that I'm making for Easter and then a couple extra to add to my stock because I'm completely out of Cool Whip in the freezer. I got a family size pack of saltines and I thought I would try these Pringles out. They were called hot honey flavor. So it looks like a spicy honey Pringle flavor. I thought um, that my husband would also enjoy checking these out. I probably won't have very many, but I'd really like to see what this tastes like. This is a, a Walmart exclusive, I guess. So hot honey Pringles sounds really interesting. And then more along the back here, we have some little tiny apple juice boxes, some animal crackers. Those were special requests from my, one of my grandsons. And then some little tiny bags of Cheez-It grips. And then a box of the Great Value brand Twist and Shout cookies. These are like little Oreos, little two packs of Oreos. I bring those for my Sunday school class. And then a box of Triscuit Thin Crisps. And then back down here, I I got a bunch of condiments today, some yellow mustard, some of our green taco sauce. I use this almost every day on eggs. I decided I would try out this Primal Kitchen unsweetened ketchup uh, just to keep my sugar content down as much as possible. I do have some sugar still in um, different condiments especially, but I thought it would be nice to see how that ketchup tastes. The honey mustard, Heinz 57, we've been out for quite a while. Some chili sauce, this is what I use to make a meatball recipe. Two bottles of honey barbecue sauce. 
one bottle of ranch just in case we run out of our fresh a bottle of Chick-fil-A sauce that we absolutely love. And then the last time I went to Walmart, you might remember I bought the Arby's horsey sauce as well as the Arby's sauce, and it is delicious. I use it all the time. It's just such a really nice, mild horseradish sauce, and so I definitely wanted to have a couple in back stock. They're really absolutely delicious. So I was happy to find those again. Then I got a couple cans of Alfredo sauce, a garlic Alfredo and a regular Alfredo, and dill relish and sweet relish, and another container of mayonnaise. I got four cans of Rotel, two are the no salt added, and two are the mild. I picked up two cans of green chili enchilada sauce, a small can and a larger can. Actually, I got two of the small cans. I use the smaller can in a casserole that I make that I hope to be sharing soon. And then I use the bigger one when we're making just a regular batch of chicken enchiladas. I also picked up uh, four little cans of this tomato sauce. This is the no salt added variety. Then I restocked on some of the soups that I needed, the heart healthy cream of mushroom, a couple cans of those, a couple cans of the heart healthy cream of chicken, a couple cans of the French onion soup that I use for recipes, and one can of beef consomme. I also stocked up on jello. These again are for the spring jello pies I make. I'm going to make a lime and a raspberry one. Then I just picked up some orange jello just to have on hand. I thought I'd pick up these whole grain fig newtons. They just sounded really good. We haven't had whole grain fig newtons in quite some time. I got a couple uh, mild taco packets. Picked up a bag of these Sun Sweet Ones. These are really delicious prunes. They are individually bagged, so they stay really fresh and delicious. I love having one of these as a snack. It's a nice, naturally sweet uh, little prune there. And then I got a couple of gluten-free um, pancake and waffle and baking mixes here. Um, I'm going to be having a waffle night coming up for family dinner and I want to be able to enjoy that with a family but need to try out gluten-free. So I got a couple varieties to try out here. This from Krusty's brand and this here from Bisquick, just a Bisquick gluten-free mix. So we'll try those out. It'll be interesting to see how those taste and how they compare. I got a bottle of Cran grape juice. Got a couple of fruits here, a little pack, a four pack of the pineapple tidbits and a six pack here of no sugar added Mott's applesauce. Two of the pie crusts that I'll be using for Easter, for our Easter spring jello pies. They are made in little graham cracker crust. And then I got this variety of ramen. This is the ramen that our Costco carries now. So I thought I would give it a try. I don't eat ramen very much at all. Um, but I like to have it on hand in the pantry. So I picked up a 12 pack of the chicken variety. I grabbed another bottle of vegetable oil. And then lastly, I got a good selection of uh, Easter candy for our Easter egg hunts and Easter basket fillers and things like that. Some of this I'll bring to church and some of this will just be in our own home. Um, Easter egg hunt. I thought these little Hershey mini bunnies were cute too. So those will be really fun in our Easter baskets. For the dog, we got him a couple of treats as well. We got him this Milk Bone uh, brand stuffed here. This is a lot like the other little puffs that I used to get him. I couldn't find those, but this one is uh, beef and bacon, so I think he'll really like that. And then also, he's very eager. He spotted that uh, Dad picked him out a new Nerf dog ball here, a, a squeak and crunch, it says. He's had this ball before, and he really likes it. It holds up for a pretty long time. So he got a couple little prizes as well for Easter week there. So that is what we picked up at Walmart. We are nice and stocked up for the spring now. Next, I'll go ahead and share with you our April meal plan, as well as the grand total, what we spent at Costco and Walmart on our big spring pantry stock up. Okay, and now for my April meal plan. I haven't had time to do a fun uh, design for my homemaking notebook yet, but hopefully by the end of April, I'll be able to catch back up and be able to do that. Um, and if I do, I'll definitely be sure and share that with you in any mid-month grocery hauls. But this is my April meal plan. And on the first Saturday, the first, we had hamburger patties with asparagus, a fried egg, and potato wedges. On Sunday, the second, we had barbecue 
barbecue chicken. I made pineapple slaw, Brussels sprouts, and broccoli and cauliflower, some sweet, uh, baked sweet potatoes, as well as some russet potatoes, and we made some uh, white chocolate cranberry cookies for dessert. On Monday, we had leftovers. On Tuesday, I um, wasn't sure if I'd have broccoli and beef or turkey stir fry, but we decided to go ahead and have one of our pizzas. We had had a really busy day, so we didn't do that, and so I'm moving everything out just a little bit here, um, and we'll be having the turkey stir fry, then the split pea soup, then we'll be having on Friday the 7th a baked salmon with Brussels sprouts and sweet potatoes. So then instead of the cauliflower pizza on the 8th, we'll probably be having some leftover soup or something like that. Or we'll just push everything down a little bit. And of course, sometimes we do that, but we'll definitely get all of those meals in there eventually. On Sunday the 9th, that's Easter dinner. I'll be making some spring jello pies, ham, broccoli salad, a green pea salad, a pea and bacon salad, I should say, um, carrots and a loaded cauliflower baked casserole. On Monday the 10th, we're having leftovers. Tuesday the 11th, we're having stuffed bell peppers. Wednesday the 12th, we'll have chicken enchilada cauliflower rice bake, and I do hope to film that recipe. It's really tasty. On Thursday the 13th, we'll have a salmon chowder with bread and salad. I'll be passing on the bread in lieu of the salad on the 14th. Friday, we'll have leftovers. On Saturday the 15th, we'll have cauliflower fried rice. On Sunday the 16th, that is a family birthday dinner, and we have not decided yet what we'll be doing for that day. On Monday the 17th, we'll have taco sweet potatoes with salad. So I'm going to be doing taco fillings and toppings on top of a sliced open baked sweet potato, and again, we'll have that with salad. On Tuesday the 18th, we'll have a Southwest chicken casserole. On the 19th, Wednesday, we'll have leftovers. On Thursday the 20th, we'll have a mixed bean turkey soup. On Friday the 21st, we'll have a leftover soup. On Saturday the 22nd, we will have chicken mushroom burgers with sweet potato fries. On Sunday the 23rd, I want to do a big chicken and waffle day with a, a lot of fun toppings for the waffles, as well as fruit salad. On Monday the 24th, we'll have a sausage green bean sheet pan dinner. On Tuesday the 25th, we'll have a cheeseburger cauliflower rice casserole. On Wednesday the 26th, we'll have a turkey veggie rice bowl. On Thursday the 27th, we'll have fish tacos. On Friday the 28th, we'll have leftovers. On Saturday the 29th, we'll have an orange chicken and rice with veg. And of course, I'll swap out my rice for the cauliflower rice. And I'm thinking of doing a crock pot orange chicken, but I'll have to wait and see what we do with that. On Sunday the 30th, we will have a ribeye steak dinner for another birthday dinner and whatever birthday dessert is requested. So... That is our meal plan for the month of April. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my meal plan for April as well as seeing my large freezer and pantry stock up. And for the total, I spent $521.44 at Costco and $428.14 at Walmart for a grand total of $949.58. That is definitely quite a lot, but I only do these really big pantry stock ups once every three months. So if you divide that 949 by three months, it comes to just over $300 per month. So it's really nice addition to the household and it keeps the grocery budget down for all of the rest of the months. Also in this haul, I got quite a bit of fresh items for the current month. So overall, although it's very expensive, it was really nice to stock up. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my large spring pantry and freezer stock up, as well as hearing my April meal plan. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.